Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today I will show you guys 10 iPhone apps that I believe every iPhone user must have on their device in 2022. These are apps that are actually super useful and will make your iPhone more worth its money by of course adding extra new features to your iPhone. We're starting things off with Word Counter. This is a super useful app that will allow you to count words, characters and also sentences on a text. Now what you can do with this app is type the text here within the app and you will see the number of words, sentences and characters that you have on that text. This will be super useful especially for students but you can also use this feature of this app outside of this app. This means you can use that on other apps like right here on the notes app I have something written here I want to know the number of sentences characters and words on this text all I gotta do is just go to the share sheet and from here you will be able to tap on count words and just like that you will see the result here so it will show you everything you need to know words characters sentences and paragraphs as well next up is an app called holy cool and this is like a full-sized full-featured video editor for your iPhone. Everything that you would find on a video editor on your computer, maybe your Windows computer or your Mac, you can find all of those features right here within this app. So of course you will have the timeline right here. You can go ahead and add your videos or add more from here. Then you will have all the different tools that you need right down below. So of course you can trim, you can duplicate right here, split, rotate, flip the video or even reverse the video or just mute it from there. And of course you will have all kinds of different filters from here that you can easily apply to any video you want. And you will have the adjustments here. So anything from of course the shadows, the contrast and things like that, you can go ahead and adjust right here. And then you will have the advanced features. You can enhance the video, you will have different canvases. You can add music or text to your videos. And of course it changes the speed of the video as well. So it is super simple to use and of course gets all the features that you need to have on a video editor on your iPhone. Once you're done with all that, simply tap the export button and you're good to go. The next app for the video is called Bicam. This app allows you to shoot pictures and videos with both cameras at the same time. So the front facing camera and the rear facing camera, you can use them to take pictures like this. Of course, you can switch between the different cameras and you can also take a video from here. Just tap on the record button. Now you can see right here, the UI is very simple, very easy to use. You can tap the three dots right there. You can turn on or off the flashlight. You can zoom in and out from here. So pretty simple to use, but of course it gets you this amazing feature that allows you to shoot with both cameras at the same time. Next up is word search. This allows us to search for words anywhere pretty much on the internet all the search engines and the sites that of course we search the most you can search all of them here in one place and it's super easy to use now i can search for i reviews right here and of course i can just go ahead and choose a way i want to search so i can search google images from here or i could just jump to wikipedia directly from here or maybe just go to youtube you will have things like dictionaries right here you will have reddit twitter just tap right there and you can see it goes straight to Twitter and it will search for that word. So this is super, super useful. And of course you can search for the word right here on Wikilinks and things like that. Wikipaper, of course, just go ahead and search for that word. So you can see how simple that is and how easy it is to search for any word you want anywhere pretty much on the internet. Mini Converter is the next app for the video. So you need to convert something on your iPhone, then you need to have this app. You can convert, as you can see right here, pretty much anything from currency to length, temperature, volume, speed, mass, then you will have time, pressure, power, angle, force, electricity, anything basically you want to convert you can do that from here just go here to one of course of the categories that you want to use then you will have here different options so we can go ahead and go to gigabytes right there so from one gigabyte you can see what we have here how many megabytes for example or kilobytes or bytes from here so you can go ahead and just pretty much choose anything that you want to actually convert and you will see all the different results right here so anything you can think of you can convert you can do all that directly from this simple app 
Next up is picture in picture videos. Now this is an app that you will find probably a lot of apps like these on the app store. But what I like about this app that is that you can basically play any video you want on the picture in picture mode. As long as you have a link for that video and you paste it right here. But what's really cool is that you can also play the videos that you have on your camera roll on the picture in picture mode. Just go ahead and select the video from here. Once you have selected the video, there it goes. You can just tap the button right there or just go out of the app and now you have your video from the camera roll playing on the picture in picture mode that's really really cool of course you will have all the features that you get with the picture in picture mode on ios subscriptions is a new app that has recently been released and it allows you to track your subscriptions for free on your iphone now of course nowadays we have a lot of subscriptions they are basically subscriptions for anything like we have here netflix and nba and of course you can just go ahead and add these simply by tapping the plus button and you will have a long list of different apps different services of course that you can subscribe to you can choose one of them and just go ahead and add them of course to your list so you can choose here the amount how much you have to pay of course the category right here so let's say entertainment in this case and of course you can choose if you want to auto renew and the date where you will basically when you have paid for the first time when it starts then you can choose a cycle right here whether you have to pay daily weekly monthly or yearly right there and you can of course add a reminder right here so it, the app will send you a notification a day or two or any how many many days before you want once you have done all that you tap the save button and you're good to go you will have your analytics right here you will have of course all the subscriptions here and you can search for any of them directly from here and even of course filter them or basically rearrange them based on cost or based on the name now what i really like about this app is that it offers some really cool home screen widgets so you can see the home screen widgets right here that you can add to your home screen it has like six or seven different widgets that you can add to your home screen and of course track your subscriptions right here on the home screen Eye contacts is the next app for the video. It allows you to easily manage your contacts and will also filter them for you, making it really, really easy to find contacts that maybe don't have a name or don't have a phone number or basically are missing different information. So you can see right here, I have contacts without name, contacts without a phone number. You can see everything here that we need to know can see all the contacts are right here now what you can do is also go here to the contact section and you can basically add different groups of contacts so you tap the plus button and create a group name right here so let's just create one and once you have saved the group you go here and you can simply go ahead and add contacts right here so you tap there tap the plus button and just like that you can add contacts to that group and then of course you can use these groups to maybe send messages to all the group or things like that or maybe allow or not allow them while on the do not disturb mode so this is actually very very useful search emoji is the next app for the video it is the easiest way to find the exact emoji that you need once you open the app you can of course go ahead and search for any emoji you want from here or by tapping right there you can choose the skin tone from here so if you just tap right here all the emojis will be changed to that skin tone so if i just go ahead and try to find here people or body you can see all of them are on that color that we choose of course the ones that have the option to change the color now what you can do also from here is go ahead and go into different categories of emojis or find any one of them that you want really easily simply by searching here or just browsing the emojis and once you have done that you can just tap on one of them and it will be copied to the to the clipboard of your device of course you can use that to, to paste it anywhere you want on any other app last but not least a really interesting app called insect identifier of course on your house on your apartment or anywhere else you will see insects all the time so you might be interested what is that what kind of insect is that and all that stuff of course all you have to do with this app is just take a picture or even if you don't have the app at that time you took a picture you can load the picture from the camera roll so let's just load one here 
So you can see here, I just loaded a picture. It will scan it and it will give you all the information you need to know about that insect. So you can see right here, different pictures. You will see the result here. You have the appearance, anything that you need to know, life cycle, you can see a range and all that. Or you can just go ahead and tap on Wikipedia and it should show you right here results from Wikipedia, but it's actually not working right now. So anything you need to know regarding that insect will be shown right here. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. These are 10 apps that I believe are really, really useful and iPhone users must have them on their device. Thank you guys for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this and I will see you on the next one.